Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. I'm Lindsay. Today, we are going to be learning about the Jordy accent. And we actually are going to have two different videos we're going to check out on this video. The first one is going to be us learning more specifically about the accent itself and mm -hmm. how it sounds. And the second video is going to be diving into a little bit of Jordy slang. Yeah. By doing that, we hope to get a more well-rounded picture of the Jordy accent in general and maybe some of the slang that Jordy people also use as well. All right. I'm Sophie. And I'm from County Durham. Technically, that makes me a pit yakka. And this is pit my Jordy accent. So the first feature we're going to look at is the short vowel uh. It's present in words such as up, above, strut, supper, and funny. Let's hear it. Up. Up. Above. Oh. Above. Wait, wait. Up. Is it almost is above. it almost like the Canadian? Oh, like, that's above? what I'm hearing. Above? A boat. Above. Uh, not quite. Not not it's as pronounced, maybe. Ab above. Above. Oop. Wait, I don't know, I want to hear her do it again. Oh, yeah, I want to hear that. I think she's going to say more. Yeah, I know, but I want to hear that again. Up. 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 Above. 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 Strut. 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 Supper. Supper. Funny. Funny. Oh my gosh, this is hard. This is a hard one to emulate. Sit upstairs on the bus. Sit upstairs Sit on, on the bus. 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 It's I like, like a, it. Like a O, oh, O oh sound. Up. Like bus. Bus. I'm hearing it. Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> the ow vowel present in words such as town, town, mouth, mouth, brown, brown. and pound. But pound. let's hear how Sophie says them. Tune. 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 Interesting. Tune. That's this is a Tune. very interesting accent. Mouth. Brown. Brown. Okay. Okay, so oh you sounds like us. Mouth. Yeah, but there's no but uh what was it? O W? Yeah, O W was like an ew. Toon, mm -hmm. Brun. Mm -hmm. It's like Croon. It's, what they say instead of crown, croon. It's almost like when there's a W after. I don't know about other letters after, but it's sounds like, like it was o, o W. It's like it sounds like a double yeah. O. Pooned. Oh wait. Oh wait. Give us a pooned. Gotta doom the tune. Going down to tune. Wow. That is unique. It is. Very, very different from what I what I normally uh, think of when I hear of an English accent, mm -hmm. um, you know, on TV. Right, it's not represented. Yeah, it doesn't here seem in the US, maybe right. in the US. I'm sure it is represented more in the in the in the UK, but like here in the US, I'm thinking mm -hmm. of like when I've I've seen British actors on mm -hmm. uh, a movie or a TV show yeah. or something like that, it's one of those accents. Like this is not something I normally hear. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Next, let's take a look at the I diphthong, present in words such as all right, price, and night. All right. All right. Reet. Price. Nice. Okay, Some so, of them sound yeah. similar to how we would say it. It is it's... so interesting. I'm trying to pick up where that change mm -hmm. hits. Neat. Neat. That is interesting. With the G on this afterwards, it changes the, mm -hmm. the I sound. Good neat. You were right about that. <laughs> say good neat then. Next, we have the A diphthong, present in words such as rain, insane, eight, away, and same. Rain. Rain. Insane. Insane. Shame. Shamed. Eight. eight. It's, it's, it's it, drug out a little bit more. The, insane. I don't know. Like she, said, like she said, it varies greatly depending on the person right. in the area, right. but... Like with her, she holds her mouth open very widely, like when, when she talks. Speaking. So I think that's where Rain. Some of the, yeah. Insane. It. Interesting. It. Away. Away. Same. Same. The rain is insane. The rain is insane. Moving on, we have the <laughs> O diphthong, present in words such as hope. 
throat, 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 float, float, hop, hop, throat, 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 float, float, on, on, croak, goat, goat. Look, it's a floating goat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a floating goat. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. It sounds like uh, this is our first time, like you know, hearing or seeing this accent. Mm -hmm. Really, um, it sounds like a lot of the uh, words are expanded. Like they're, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe that. Is there like a lot deeper or a lot longer? Longer, or a lot, like everything's more pronounced as you yes know. it's more pronounced yes it's just very long at least how she does it. yeah i mean of course who knows we'll, and we'll she might be a... exaggerating a little bit to get the point of true course. true because like i guess in we'll... conversational speaking right. she might not yeah true drag them out as much yeah true it's gonna be interesting to see the difference between a woman and a man speaking mm -hmm. next let's hear the ear diphthong this is present in words such as near here, clear, near, yeah, here, clear, different for you. I'm here. <laughs> I love that. I do too. I do. It's almost like the end of the word of fear here is it goes, up, ah. it goes, yeah, up. it's like two syllables and yeah, one. like it he, goes, we up. would say here, here, which is one, fear. and it sounded like she does something like. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it, it almost sounded like there was a Y at the end, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm, I know I'm butchering that, but um, <laughs> it, that's so interesting. I love it though. Yeah. I, I love this accent. A glottalized P, which is often present in a Geordie accent. Now, this glottalized P will happen when a P is between two vowel sounds. For example, in the following words and phrases proper, paper, mm. jumper, and keep it. Okay, so you heard how she said it, mm -hmm. and I think she has something similar to her overseas pronunciation. Right. Accent, something similar to that. A little more formal, yeah. And how would you say those words that she just said? Proper, paper, jumper, keep it. She had more of a p mm -hmm. at the end. Just proper, like the T. paper, jumper, keep it. Yeah. Um, I, I would say paper, proper, jumper, keep it. Proper. Proper. Peeper. Peeper. Jumper. Jumper. Keep it. Keep it. That's not a proper jumper. And it's not just P that's glottalized. We can also glottalize the K if it appears between two vowel sounds. Lucky. Flicker. Walk away. You were lucky to walk away from that. Wow. And of course we can this, glottalize Like I just tea. can't get over how unique it is. Yeah. It's just, it makes me smile. <laughs> happy, it's a happy accent. It does sound like that. Between two vowel sounds. For example, in words like better, automatic, attitude, and conjunctivitis. Better. Better. Automatic, attitude. Conjunctivitis. Why, it's better to drive an automatic. I agree. <laughs> Listen to how Sophie says cure, for, for, and sure. How would you say it? Cure. Cure, yeah. Cure, for, sure. We for, say it different sure. than she did. Cure, for, for, sure. I say sure. 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 I think a lot of people, a lot of you guys are probably <laughs> hearing me say that is S H O R E, I think. Sure. Then do sure. you say cure? Cure. 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 But you say sure, sure. 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 Cure four four. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's changing on so me. Painful. Cure. Cure. Fawa. Fawa. Four. Sure. Oh. Oh, that was interesting. The four, the yeah, number there four. Was a there was a major difference there. And for us, I don't feel like Yeah, for me, it's like four, four. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. That was an interesting difference there. Are you sure they found a cure? Sure. Now, as sure. this is a sure. Sure. accent, we will, of course, see a shortening of the R vowel. 
This is the same in the American English accent as well. So listen to how Sophie says laugh, dance and bath. Laugh, dance. Don't laugh while I'm in the bath. That's exactly how we would say it. Yeah, let's well, do it. Well, the words they were talking about. Laugh. Don't dance. laugh while I'm in the bath. Don't laugh while I'm in the bath. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so interesting. It's like this accent seems to have a lot of, of, of changes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like it's it's very uh, like you you start hearing it, you think they're going to pronounce something right, like one way. Like the rules change like yeah. very a lot between different. Because the way she pronounced don't laugh while I'm in the bath mm -hmm. is completely different. From what I, how I thought she would have pronounced it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I thought she would pronounce it, but based off what she, how she was speaking on the other words, I didn't think she would sound like almost like us in a way, mm -hmm. like not not completely, but but the words, we yeah, but the words were s similar. Now, if a word ends with a Y, we will hear an E sound. However, in the Geordie accent, this will be shorter. Listen to Sophie saying "pretty," "Billy," "silly." And city. Pretty. Pretty. That's silly. A, yeah. Silly Billy. That's pretty silly. That's pretty silly. That's what I expected. That one. Yeah. 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 In Geordie, tends to become an N sound made with the front of the tongue high, n, 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 instead of the back of the tongue high, ng, ng. Listen to how Sophie says dancing, laughing, and kissing. Dancing. Dancing. Laughing. Laughing. Kissing. Kissing. Okay, so they removed the G. Ah. Which is similar yes. to how we were saying we do if we're in like a more relaxed. Yeah, let me think. Laughing. Laughing, dancing. Laughing, singing, dancing, singing. Jumping. Jumping. Yeah, running. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. All right, guys. So now we are at our second video. And we specifically wanted to do this so that we could kind of see a female perspective and a male perspective on the Geordie accent. Mm -hmm. We learned about generally how the Geordie accent, uh, how they sound, you know, saying certain words and how they would pronounce a lot of different uh, letters, I guess, mm -hmm. and whatnot. And in this video specifically, we're going to learn some Geordie slang. Yeah. And so I think this will be fun. I love the slang. Should we try to guess? Like, hopefully they'll, like, say what it is and then... Yeah, if, if we can, if we got enough time, yeah. I hope we can, uh, you know, pick this up. So, <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to go jump in here and check out some Geordie slang. Why are you, man? Why are you? Why are you, man? Oh, where are you? Yeah, maybe. It's got to be. I mean, what else would it be? Where are you, man? Yes, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Your guess? I, I thought you were for sure had it in the bag. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Wait, is he, is that, wait, is he asking a question? No, there's no question mark. So he's saying what it means. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Do of you course. use why I'm on a lot? Can I don't I? say man on the end. It's sort of like a tradition. That's a very like hey, hey, MTV show course. you use and it sort of promote. Why I'm man is going to be the dirty show. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You wouldn't say for eating so, seasons. I, I, wouldn't, I, 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 I think oh, it might be. I think I've heard I've of that. I've heard of it too, but I didn't know why. Is Jordy Shore a thing? Because that does sound so familiar for some reason. Oh my gosh. So it's like a play on Jersey Shore, but Jordy. Oh, I want to watch that. I do too. If that, let us know in the comments, guys, if that's a thing. I that would want to check that out some point. see the accent. Yes, that would be a great way to see the accent and see how it compares to the Jersey Shore. Now, it might not even be a thing, honestly. Yeah, but, it might be a joke. But it does seem familiar for some reason. I, yeah, I feel like I've heard let of it. Let us that. know, guys. And I wouldn't say, why I man? Especially from, your, from Middlesbrough. <laughs> Definitely not. Especially if you're from Sutherland and you're just getting paid to be on a Newcastle-based MTV show, you know what I mean? I wonder which one you're talking about. Pet. Pet? Pet? Um, I'm going to say it means like love, like, yeah. like a term of endearment. Yeah. How are you, pet? Yeah, hi, pet. <laughs> I, I guess it's a term of endearment used by look at that high five and, and ladies in the Newcastle area when you sort of deliver in the post <laughs> or uh, you give a receipt. But you're welcome, pet. I say pet quite yeah, a few times. Yeah, I, I can see that. Oh, you're thanks welcome, for that pet. pet. Oh, you're very good looking, yeah. pet, aren't you? It, it is. I get that a lot. 
I don't know. I don't know. So like that that's interesting because like I, I when I think of a uh, a slang term for something like a term of derriment mm-hmm. from pretty much anywhere in the UK and Ireland is love. Love or darling. Hey, hey love. Darling. 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 No, that's not one I really think no. of. I'm sure obviously people do use that. <laughs> thing. But but love, like let's know in the comments, guys. What would be your terms of endearment? Terms of endearment. Would it be something like pet or would it be more something like love or I don't know what else? Like here I'd say babe or baby. Yeah, I would say, what's up, babe? Babe. Babe. <laughs> babe. <laughs> babe. Like that, but... babe. Come on, babe. Geet walla. Don't Geet, play it. Geet, Geet walla. walla. Get over here. Get over here now. Yeah, like, yeah, that's interesting. Like, I would have the same. So it might be. We'll, we'll see. Geet walla. <laughs> yeah, I don't get paid enough for this. Traditional Joe Walla video we go. That's Geet Walla. Well, can I look at the Geet Wallas on the that internet? That is Geet Walla. <laughs> yeah, you've got a Geet Walla down there, haven't you? Well, I seen you. I was like, "Hot cute one on that." Like, <laughs> what? Nah. The translation still isn't making sense. Yeah, I, I still don't what know what it. Mean? I, I still don't know exactly what that means. Ah, uh, <laughs> gadji. 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 Okay, I still don't know what giwala means, guys. Either, I so. have no idea what that meant. I'm just still lost Wait. in translation. Gadji is that short for like gadget? No, gadji. <laughs> gadji is. I need my gadji. Give me my gadji. Give me my gadji. Like, this is what I don't know. And like, for some reason, I keep on, in my head, I think of budgie. Yeah, me too. You do? Yeah. What, what, what is that? I, don't, I, don't... I think it's like an insult. Oh, he's such a gadji. Oh, you look, you're looking like a gadji. You think? Uh, no, you think? I think you just said. <laughs> an old person. So if I was going to use it in a sentence, oh. I'd go, are you still doing YouTube, Brian, you little gadji? Yes. <laughs> Kind of an insult <laughs> if you're like talking down to someone. Raji. Like Raji. Okay, is that a young, young person? person. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gadji, though, that's that's interesting. Yeah. I, I, I mean, okay. <laughs> a Raji is a very, very, very angry little boy. Basically, when Brian doesn't get his food during the kickoff, we'd be like, Brian, calm down, you Raji. Cam's landlord comes round and he tries to get paid for the month. Yeah, man, it's Cam, only been two months, you're yeah, Raji. Cam, Cam can be very, very angry as he's sort of barricading the door. Just for the future <laughs> landlord that is not watching this video, that, that's just, just, that's just the, satire. That's the, that's the old Cam. That's the old Cam. Wait, so it's an angry little boy. So we were right on the young part. But he also said it was him. I don't know if he's just kind of, you know... Uh, if it really means young boy, or if it just means kind of an angry male no, in general. No, angry boy. Angry hmm. little boy. Bobby Dazzler. Bobby Dazzler? Bobby Dazzler? Oh, this one almost seems like... I don't know. Almost like X-rated. Give <laughs> <laughs> him the Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> Like Give him the Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> okay, okay. Now everybody, everybody is watching is wondering what what is a Bobby Dazzler in your mind? What what are you giving them? I, I just, Give him the like Bobby Dazzler. Something inappropriate, but maybe not. Or a uh, or a uh, adult film star. Yeah, maybe that's why I think that because Bobby Dazzler. It sounds like. A- <laughs> Bobby Dazzler. All right. All right. All right. Bobby Dazzler. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> or dance move, maybe. <laughs> it means something very good, I want to say. So I go, oh, I didn't realize you had a couple of Bobby Dazzlers down there. I would use it in a, a sentence like, oh, he's a Bobby Dazzler, him. Like, as in, he's a like a diamond, he's a he's a good yeah. person. Bobby Robson, Joe. Dazzler. Yeah. 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 Sort of like he he's a Dazzler. A sentence. So it's sort of like old Geordie slang. He's a Bobby lockdown at your Bobby Dazzler. No. no, that's not how you wash it. Give it to you. He would never have said that. Cla- okay, claim it. Um, if, it, if it. If it was Bobby Dazzler, I would have... <laughs> Sounds so weird is like in the American Bobby, Bobby Dazzler. Bobby Dazzler. 
Yeah, if it was that though, I would I would think it was like like what like a diamond in the rough, you know, like a like a like a fancy man, <laughs> you know. Oh, All right. it's clamming. Clamming, clamming. I mean, I mean, clamming. Here, if someone said clamming, I would think they were well, going to get clamming. going clamming. I think they were going to get clammed. Clamming. Obviously, I don't maybe, think that's what that means here. Maybe it means like. Are they nervous? That or clamming up? yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or like friends, they're clamming around, like palling around. Ah, clamming around, <laughs> clamming around. Do you? Ah, we're clamming around. Why do you feel like you're Paul Rudd and I love you, babe? <laughs> Slapping a bay. Slapping a bay. All right. All right. Clamming. To me, that just means hungry. It does, ah. mate. But no one really. Do you say that? Really? Clam. Um, it's like for a curry. <laughs> I wouldn't not, but you're not going to be. I'm uh, clamming uh, for your sushi. Uh, after you've had eight pints and like you're walking past uh, the curry house and the, your mate can't see you. Oh, yeah, I'm clamming me. I didn't, <laughs> you know? I, I didn't usually get eight pints deep, to be fair. Like, yeah. netty. Netty. What does that mean to you, Cam? The netty. That means two sex. I'm just going for a at the netty. <laughs> the curry from the last one's not gone down too well. Specifically, when you say netty, it reminds me of outdoors toilets. I don't know if that's what the official meaning is. When I was younger, uh, oh, until like I was like a... eight, my toilet was outside. <laughs> <laughs> Not a joke, Brian. I'm going to the toilet, Ma. Make sure you lock the door after you. I will. I will. Don't Talk worry. the umbrella. <laughs> Not a joke. Not a joke, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Might as well just piss on the ground, son. It's all the well, same. Well, no, it wasn't like a bowl. We just chuck it out with a nearby stand. Did you dig a hole? No. Was that the truth? It, uh, <laughs> no. It was a. Uh, we had a kitchen, and then the back door. There was like a shed where the toilet was, and the and the, the and the bath. <laughs> you, son. you had a bath outside. It wasn't. No, it was in a shed. There just wasn't enough room in the house. Twock. Twock. Well, it sounds like. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it. Um, twalk. twalk. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go uh... twalk over here. <laughs> we uh... talk. <laughs> Too hot. Wait. Twist twalk. Twist twalk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Twist walk. Oh, Never mind. Hard. I don't know. We're going to get it, this. Let's leave it to the experts. Let's, yeah, leave it to the experts. Twalk, as in steal or take without warrant. <laughs> he twalk it. So basically, oh, he you it. said that as if someone had said that to you in court once. This describes me, Doylem. <laughs> Doylem. Doylem. If you were going to think of the word Doylem, it would just be me. It's basically like a, <laughs> just a twat. Shira says it on Twitter quite a lot, so you know, it's a, it's a northern thing. Look at that Doylem, look at that freak. <laughs> so, you're looking at him. Bubble. Aww. Bubble? Oh, bubble, oh, no, bubbles, no, I'm not. Bubble's a drug, isn't it? <laughs> bubble. No, it's not. That was a test you passed, well done. Bubble bath, like having a laugh, is that weird? Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, it's bubbling. Well, it makes you cry. Uh, bubbling. That's sort of Why cockney like rhyming so slang as well, isn't it, really? D is your telt. D is your telt. Do as you're told. Do as you're told. Do as you're told. D is your telt. That actually makes sense. It's probably not that, though. Probably not. <laughs> D is In your sex, I say this quite a few times. Really? Well, the one time. Uh, do as you tilt. Um, Put the blindfold on. <laughs> yeah, do as you're canny. told. Very good. He's a very canny lad. He's canny. Isn't he? Oh, he's all right. Okay, yeah, canny. he's all right. Very good to stretch. I feel like it's quite vanilla. No. Like when I look at you, I'm like, canny. I don't think vanilla <laughs> is. You think with me. I love the accent. Dude, I do. I love, I love the so accent. Fun. I love the slang. And it's very interesting how different. It is, like she said, between person to person, male and female, depending on yes. how you grew up. Like, it's just so individualized, I think. This was a lot of fun, guys. I, I love that. this. I always love doing the slang stuff. I, I want to do more of that. And the accents in general. Yes. Let us know in the comments, guys, what we should check out next in terms of accents 
or slang. I definitely have a few in mind I definitely want to do soon. Um, we're probably going to do some more of this in the near yeah, future. Yeah, we've got quite a few on the list. This is one of my favorite topics, I guess, because it's just so much fun. And uh, it's just so unique, so different from what we're used to here. Um, but you got anything you want to add before we go? No. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments and suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover anything and everything from the UK and Ireland. Till next time, guys. Peace. Bye.